guys, welcome to another episode. I'm Hayden and today I'm at the Animal Rights Conference in Los Angeles. We're gonna head inside, I'm gonna interview some people and ask them about what their favorite vegan restaurant is and what they like to order there. Hopefully so we can add them to our list of places on our travels. So let's go check it out. I think my favorite vegan restaurant is the Grain Cafe. Uh, they have all day, all organic, all vegan breakfast. Ooh, and, breakfast. And they have a vegan version of the Grand Slam from Denny's. Oh. And it's it's literally one of the best restaurants that I've ever been to, hands down, vegan or not. Whoa. Today I have a book signing for my newest book, uh, The Smart Parents Guide to Raising Vegan Kids, but I also have The Skeptical Vegan with me. So I've got two books that have come out in the past year. And I'm going to have to go with Hungawi. Hungawi! I have to. So it's you, good! Yeah, so it's real good. To have 100% Korean uh, vegan is amazing to me. Uh, we eat a lot of Korean food and we oftentimes have to ask them to make sure they substitute out fish sauces right, or right, other right. things that they'll put to, to uh, Asian cuisine. You don't have to do that at Hangao. I'm gonna try this Nelly's Coconut uh, Candy Bar. It looks delicious. Oh my God, that's good. I'm here with Matt Bruce, and Matt and I used to work together at PETA yes. as campaigners. Like I'm still traveling around the country uh, doing uh, demonstrations for animal rights, whether it's uh, Texas A&M, the dogs and labs there, or it's handing out vegan ice cream to people in Modesto, California. I really love breakfast at Champs in Brooklyn. Okay. That's one of my favorite spots. Yeah. based in Springfield, Vermont. The only LGBTQ run uh, farm animal sanctuary oh, really cool. in the US. Yeah. I have to represent my friends at Seabirds and my favorite thing to eat there is the local bowls but add barbecue jackfruit. And then, of course, captivity. And you're building a bus. Yeah, so we are converting. I'm watching you guys build your bus, yeah. and I'm so jealous. Yeah, we are almost done. We are converting a 38-foot um, school bus into a tiny house. Oh, cool. And it's almost done, and we're going to be traveling the country and taking the message of empty the tanks. We love Wayward Cafe in Seattle, and I have a tendency to get whatever has the hollandaise sauce. Yes. Because it's so good. That place is amazing. I'm here with Brittany Littleton, and she and I used to work uh, at PETA together. I've been working on for the past year, opening up a plant-based Mexican restaurant that's super authentic. We're doing past casual street style food. When I went vegan, it was really hard to find truly authentic Mexican food. It's called Sugar Taco. We're going to open late fall in Los Angeles on Melrose, just a few blocks west of Andrea. Maggie Sargent of American Vegan Society and the Humane Party. The American Vegan Society is so cool because they're the first nonprofit to promote veganism in the U.S. So they started in uh, 1960 
and I'm really excited about it because um, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about what it was like to be a vegan 20, 30, 50 years ago. There's this um, vegan restaurant in New Jersey called Self Love, and they have shiitake mushrooms that are breaded with a buffalo sauce oh, and yeah. a blue cheese dip. Oh, and it's yeah. like, I'm from Buffalo, New York, and I'm obsessed with like, um, you know, fake chicken wings. Yes. And they are like, it's using shiitake mushrooms, so when you pull them apart, it's like chicken meat. So people that love chicken wings, this is a great alternative. And we used to work together at Farm, and now you're at COK running the tours. Um, we are the Beyond the Lies program, uh, and yeah, we do pay-per-view video outreach, so we uh, offer passerbys a dollar to watch a four-minute documentary about animal agriculture. One of my favorite places is Green Vegetarian. Uh, okay, it's an all-vegan yeah. restaurant, yeah. and I went with the Big Whack, which is just a vegan Big Mac. Nice. So, and yeah. that's connected to NAMI? Yep. Yeah, yeah and right they've got the door. milkshakes. Yeah, yeah, the So NAMI is, it's like a DQ blizzard. Yeah, so I remember good. that place. So I got to catch up with a bunch of people that I've worked with in the past, which was amazing. All these people are doing so many amazing things for the animals. So make sure you check out all the organizations that I talked about today. And uh, it was just great to catch up with everyone. The Animal Rights Conference happens every year. This year it's in LA, next year it'll be in DC. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Thanks for joining us. Give us a like and make sure you send us any comments down below. Thanks so much. See you next time.